Season's greetings. How many subsets does a set have? I'll leave links in the description to previous videos I've done on this topic. Perhaps you recall the answer is two to the power of the set's cardinality. So for example, how many subsets does this set with three elements have? Well, it's got three elements, so its number of subsets is two to the power of three, which is equal to eight. If we took all eight of those subsets and put them into one big set, that's called the power set, which would then also have eight elements since it just contains all the subsets. So that's what we're gonna prove today. We're gonna prove that if a set A has N elements, then A has two to the power of N subsets. And that also means that the cardinality of the power set of A is two to the N. Again, I'll leave links to relevant related lessons in the description to other explanations of why this is true and videos about power sets. But today we're gonna prove this result using induction. If you're a little familiar with induction, I encourage you to try proving it yourself. This makes for a great basic induction proof. Let's get into it. Since we're doing induction, we've gotta begin with our basis step. Here, we're doing induction on the cardinality of sets. So the smallest possible cardinality is what we take care of in the basis step. What's the smallest cardinality a set can have? That would be zero. So our basis step is where n equals zero. We need to prove that if a set has zero elements, that it has two to the power of zero subsets. Now, what set has zero elements? Only one, right? It's the infamous empty set. Now, by definition of subset, the only subset of the empty set is the empty set. If there were some non-empty subset of the empty set, well, that would be a contradiction because a non-empty set has elements, the empty set doesn't. So certainly the empty set is the only subset of the empty set. Thus, how many subsets does the empty set have? The nice way to write that is just the cardinality of the power set of the empty set. How many subsets are in there? Just one the empty set. So the empty set has one subset, and one, of course, is two to the power of zero. So we've proven our result in the first possible case. All sets with zero elements have two to the power of zero subsets. Now we've got to move on to the induction step, where the real fun happens. Our induction step begins with statement of our induction hypothesis, basically assuming our result is true for some number. So we say, assume every set with k elements has two to the power of k subsets for some integer k where k is at least zero. This is a perfectly valid assumption because in the basis step, we prove that this is true for some integer k, in particular, the integer zero. Now with our induction hypothesis, we need to prove that every set that has k plus one elements has two to the k plus one subsets. So we begin by taking an arbitrary set that we'll call S that has k plus one elements. Now in order to use my induction hypothesis, I'm gonna need some way to relate S to sets that have k elements, because my induction hypothesis applies to sets with k elements. Now that shouldn't be too hard to do, because in a way I can think of S as just consisting of some set with k elements, unioned with some set that has a k plus one element. Now in order to write this out and make it a little more rigorous, I'm gonna write S in roster form by labeling its elements. It has k plus one elements, so I'll label them a1, a2, and so on, all the way through some final couple elements, ak and ak plus one. By labeling the elements of S like this, 
I can now easily get a set with k elements involved in my proof. To do that, I'm going to write S as a union of two sets. S is the union of this set that has those first k elements of S a1 through a k unioned with the set that has the k plus oneth element of S. That is the set S. It just contains all these elements and that element a k plus one. So now to finish the proof, I've got to start thinking about the subsets of S. How are we going to count the number of subsets that S has? To nicely represent the count of the subsets in S, I'm going to just write the cardinality of the power set of S, since the power set just contains all of S's subsets. To actually count the subsets, I'm going to think about it like this. Let's count up the subsets that don't include a k plus 1, and then let's count the subsets that do include a k plus 1. If I'm counting subsets that don't include a k plus 1, the k plus 1th element, all of those subsets are subsets of this part right here. They're subsets of this set that has k elements. That's great because I know something about sets with k elements. So again, let's count the subsets that don't include the k plus 1th element. Those subsets are subsets of this set that has k elements. So how many of those subsets are there? By the induction hypothesis, that has to be 2 to the power of k. There are 2 to the power of k subsets of S that do not include the k plus 1th element. So now to finish my count, all I have to do is count up the subsets that do include the k plus 1 element. To get those subsets, all I have to consider is all of these 2 to the k subsets, but with the k plus 1 element included. So every one of these 2 to the k subsets that don't include a k plus 1, they all give me a subset that does include a k plus 1 by just throwing a k plus 1 into the set. So for example, the empty set is counted in this 2 to the k number. That gives me another subset that includes a k plus 1 by just including a k plus 1 in the empty set. Or this 2 to the k could include the subset that has a1 and a2. Then that gives me a set that includes a k plus 1 by just including a k plus 1 with a1 and a2. So all of the subsets that include a k plus 1 are just these 2 to the k subsets, but with a k plus 1 included in them. And so there are 2 to the k such subsets. There are 2 to the k subsets that don't include a k plus 1, but then by including a k plus 1 in those 2 to the k subsets, we get another 2 to the k subsets of S. 2 to the k plus 2 to the k, well that's just two copies of 2 to the k, so I can write that as 2 times 2 to the k, and that of course is equal to 2 to the power of k plus 1. And that completes my induction proof. I've shown that if a set has n elements, then it must have 2 to the n subsets, which means its power set has a cardinality of 2 to the n.